GDP per capita, then you are thinking like it's almost like a balance, you know. Let's quickly talk about Ghana and Nigeria economy. Right, it seems like Ghana economy is growing faster than Nigeria economy. And the best metric to actually look at is something called GDP. So when you're talking about GDP, you're talking about gross domestic product. Gross domestic product in a plain English is just all the activity of a particular country economy. Everything going on in the economy of a particular country is what GDP is. So Nigeria is the biggest economy in Africa, right? But when you're talking about something else, which is gross domestic product per capita. So this is when you have the GDP, you then divide it by the population of a particular country. So that is when you get the true picture. So that is the true picture. So when you look at that, um, you look at the, um, the GDP of Nigeria and the GDP of Ghana, Ghana uh, Nigeria GDP is massive very very big compared to um, Nigeria but when you look at gross domestic product um, kind of like per capita GDP per capita then you are thinking like it's almost like a balance you know even though Nigeria GDP per capita is a little bit bigger but no the difference is really very little it's not that much difference between Nigeria and Ghana um, the economy in terms of like GDP so you can actually think about um, look at it this way as well like you are looking at uh, let's use the example of Europe so you have Switzerland in Europe which is a very very tiny landlocked country we all know Switzerland is a very rich country but when you compare their GDP to the GDP of like UK or let's actually use US United States of America is a massive the biggest economy in the world compare their GDP with that of uh, Switzerland then you are talking about you know almost like an ant and an elephant but when you switch it around and talk about GDP per capita, then, you know, Switzerland economy then becomes like, you know, almost like bigger than um, GDP per capita. Means that, you know, uh, you know, Switzerland economy is possibly doing better than the US based on that. So it's the same thing like approach in terms of Ghana and Nigeria. So, and something I to actually talk about is the fact that Nigeria is passing through a law, it's passing through a law in terms of like the security problem. The security problem in Nigeria definitely is going to be affecting the economy. So because all the kind of like uh, a lot of business activity that's supposed to be going on, we not go on because it's just, because the security is a problem. And something else you can actually think about is that you can actually also um, begin to talk about, you know, employment, unemployment rate. Unemployment rate in Nigeria is higher than that of Ghana and that is actually something to be seen as well so and then you can talk about poverty rate you know, poverty rate as well you know poverty rate in Nigeria is um, kind of like much higher than that of Ghana and uh, you know as a whole so it seems like Ghana economy is on the right track unless you actually talk about resources you see resources is something uh, that really resources is something that we really have to look at in terms of like the switch you know nigeria um had the you know the oil boom you know discover oil in, uh, in the 1950 uh, 1956 or 57 they started the like commercial quantity of um, oil exploration so but ghana started in 2011 so nigeria have been really very wasteful with all the money they've been generating from um, uh, from that crude oil, so but maybe Ghana, that maybe Ghana is um, maybe they've learned one or two lessons from Nigeria wastefulness, and then maybe they are doing a little bit better managing their resources, the money they are generating from oil, and also we you know gold is always Ghana. Ghana is big in gold, and um, something else uh, that is Ghana really have a lot in abundance is cocoa and uh yeah so but nigeria is huge as well have a lot of um a lot of resources but i just like like an economy because of that diversity because nigeria have um, um kind of like exports about i thought uh, nigeria export is about 70 to 80 percent um kind of like crude oil crude oil take massive amount of if anything just happened and then crude oil is gone where well, it's not going to dry up but just in case anything happened and crude oil is gone, what will happen? But Ghana is a bit more diversified, so they have um, a, a lot of uh, different variety of resources that they use, um, that where the, their revenue come from. So yeah, but 
generally, I think Ghana economy is doing better than Nigeria. And um, yeah, I hope somebody find this video useful. It's just a fun video to just pick up Nigeria and Ghana economy, but we're all African anyway. So, and um, yeah, hope Nigeria and Ghana continue to grow in terms of economic wise. Thanks for watching and uh, God bless.